Hey everyone, in this video we are going to introduce you to Bootstrap Studio, our advanced desktop app for building websites using the Bootstrap framework. It comes with a large number of components like navbars, panels, lists, and many more. To build a website, you just drag and drop them into your page. Here is how to do it. This here is your components panel. It holds a large number of components, organized into groups. You've got textual components, images and icons, buttons, containers, form fields, and more. This right here is your page. It is blank at the moment. And here is the generated HTML of the page. To the left is the overview panel, which shows all the components that have been added. Now let's add a heading to our page. Then we'll add a paragraph. And finally, we'll grab an icon. You can place it in between letters like this. You can select a component and move it around by grabbing it for the handle. Notice that the HTML and the overview panels are updated while I'm doing this. Because some elements like divs don't have a height when they are empty, you won't be able to select them easily. Dragging and dropping inside of divs is also tricky because of this. We need to do this from the overview panel like this. This right here is the options panel. It shows settings for customizing the selected component. We can change the type of heading, the text properties of the paragraph, open and close the dropdown, and a lot more. It all depends on which component is selected. The preview is a powerful feature of Bootstrap Studio that helps you test your websites in real browsers as you're designing them. To turn it on, click the preview button and mark the checkbox to enable it. The application then starts a local server and binds it to your available IP addresses. Just hit the button to open it in your browser. So now that it's running, every change that you make in the app is instantly reflected in the browser. You can open this preview on your smartphone, on several browsers at once, or send the link to a teammate and everyone will see the changes at the same time. The Bootstrap Grid is what makes building responsive websites possible, and Bootstrap Studio gives you powerful tools for working with it. When you select a column, some special settings are added to the Options panel. You can control the size, offset, push and pull of columns. There is also a toolbar with quick actions to change these. Let's turn these columns into two rows. I will make the first column wider so that it pushes the rest to a second row, and I will center it. Then I will offset the second column so that it aligns with the first. Now we can use these buttons to change the page size for tablets and smartphones. After you export your project, Bootstrap Studio outputs everything as a ready-to-use static website. The generated HTML is clean and well-organized. It looks as if an experienced developer has written it by hand. If the default Bootstrap theme looks dull to you, you can try out one of the alternatives, which apply a unique style to all Bootstrap components. Bootstrap Studio has a number of built-in icon fonts. Just drag and drop an icon component to use them, or double-click an existing icon. Choose a new icon, double-click again, and it will be shown in the page instantly. With Bootstrap Studio, it is easy to create websites that consist of multiple pages. Just right-click on the Pages group and choose to create a new page. Give the page a name and double-click it to open it. You can also switch to Pages from this menu. The app also gives you tools for copying components between pages. Just right-click and choose Copy To. There. Now when we switch to the pricing page, we will see it is taking shape. One very powerful feature in Bootstrap Studio is the ability to synchronize components so they are updated together. We call it Linked Components. This is how it works. Select an item, right-click it, and copy it. Then select a parent component and choose Paste Linked. This will create a linked copy which is synchronized to the original. Let's add some spacing between the items. Now when we select the heading and change it, both items are updated at once. The same goes for the buttons. This can be a big boost to your productivity when you are experimenting with the different designs. Linked components also work across pages. 
we will copy this footer and paste it linked to the other page. Now when we update the phone number, all footers on all pages of our website are updated at the same time. Let's switch to the first page. And the new phone number is shown here as well. Bootstrap Studio gives you a large number of built-in components, but you can easily create your own. This way, you can extract pieces that you use frequently and have them handy. Let's create a custom component out of this gallery. We right-click it and choose Add to Library. Then we give our new component a name. If you look here, you will see that the styles and images that are used by the gallery are detected and will be packaged with the new component. We hit the Create button and our new component is added. Now we create a new design, drag and drop the gallery, and it is instantly added with all images in CSS. Custom components can also be uploaded to our online library. Say we need a pricing table, but there isn't one in the list of built-in components, so we will search for it online. We choose the one we like and install it. When that's ready, we can drag and drop it into our design right away. It is easy to import images and other assets in Bootstrap Studio. You just drag and drop it in. Let's select and import the images. They are added to the images group in the design panel. Then we'll import the CSS files. Then the JS. And finally, an HTML page. Now we can double click to open our new page. Perfect. Sometimes drag and drop isn't enough and you need extra control over your HTML. Bootstrap Studio supports writing code directly with our custom code component. First, let's copy some raw HTML. Then we drag and drop the custom code component. When we double click it, we get an HTML editor. We'll paste the code inside it. Now when we click Apply, the code is added to our page. Another way to use custom code is by converting an existing component. See for example this nav bar. You may need extra control over its markup. Just right click the component and choose Convert to HTML. Now when we double click it, it is opened in the code editor and you can change it as you please. Bootstrap Studio is a powerful tool that can make creating websites and layouts much faster. It offers powerful tools that can make you more productive and save you time. We are sure that there is a lot you can do with it. Thank you for watching.